The Amherst Writing Circle is a writing method developed by Pam Schneider, um, an American woman about 30 years ago. It's based on the philosophy that all of us are writers. All of us have stories to tell and we all deserve a safe and secure environment to do that. So there are essential practices for making sure learners and people participating feel secure. Um, among them is that the first draft is sacred. There's no negative criticism offered. Um, you don't get into the nitty gritty or mechanics of writing. The tutor or leader also partakes in the writing so there is an equality of risk sharing and vulnerability as well and it creates trust. Yeah I mean it's really about um, making sure that people feel entirely safe. Um, we don't even refer to the writers if we're feeding back we don't refer to your work or your writing we say the narrator. Transformative learning what Jack Messer is trying to do is trying to challenge us through the learning process to change our lenses or to change our our view of the world or as he calls it our frames of reference or our habits of mind or our assumptions and that's key I think for people working in adult education why do we hold certain opinions why do we do things in certain way why do we structure things in a particular way oh because that's the way we learned 20 years ago in college that might not be relevant anymore so we need to be really critical and that's what transformative learning is about it's about asking those critical questions of ourselves so that we can then create a better practice for our learners. I now have people coming in with poems that they have written outside class. People are journaling independently outside class. They're using it as a tool. So that has just been very powerful. So they're, they're engaging in transformation in their own lives and also with wider, with the wider community mm -hmm. and even, I would say, on a global citizenship level. Well, I think the problem-based learning, especially in adult education, is, is very relevant. In every class, let them do it themselves because they need to make mistakes. They do because they're not going to learn anything if they don't make mistakes and every subject's the same English class sit down have a discussion into groups just listen to each other for a while and be creative because I think the adults are coming back not to pass a test they're coming back to learn something to really use it so and they want to be creative because they actually have a lot of experience you know and they don't just want a teacher telling them what they know all the time they actually know a lot more and they'll teach you as well